now you've got this problem of this kind of self-aware force that is kind of of its own volition and I mean I guess it uses human beings we use it far more but I mean doesn't that become kind of what people say when they're like well God works through people and God only works through the channel of human beings and this is where the crisis of faith comes in so at this point in the narrative you have the split you have the physical split of the death and we're not sure where we're not sure who is death yet I will, I, and then there's this the other uh, half of the split is into for what I call for lack of a better term an alternate timeline and uh, in this timeline I really wanted this character to be confronted with the the the, the, the crisis of faith in the sense where it's the, it's the crisis of depersonalization, it's the crisis of not being able to construct a narrative out of your thoughts. So this character is going, the character is going to be reliving parts of his life, but it'll be in a bizarro sense where he'll like know something's a little off, but he won't be able to wrap his hands around it at at first. So you have the God crisis going on, the the the, the crisis of fate in the sense where uh, not of not as you usually think of it as a as a uh, believer being tempted with non-belief, but a non-believer being tempted with belief. Now this is going on in the the quote unquote real timeline, and in the alternate timeline you have the crisis of personal narrative. Uh, one person depending on basically the the integrity of one's own memory and brain to to construct a, a narrative and a person, um, essentially. So this is where it starts to fall apart for our hero. <laughs> I understand. One, two, three. <laughs> Saving my life will it fall apart. 
try.